mystery. We really have no idea what happened. Nine cats missing in the course of two months in one mid Michigan neighborhood. The killer is still officially a mystery, but those of you who live out in the country probably have a guess. Three people in this neighborhood say they've seen a coyote. One neighbor even found the corpse of their cat not too long ago. Clayton Cummins has more from Lansing's Southwest Marble neighborhood. We got him when he was six weeks old and uh, we've had him ever since. That's 13 year old Houdini, an American short hair cat and a proud member of the Hopkins family in East Lansing. I have two kids, um, seven and nine, and they just adored him. So they loved letting him in the house in the mornings. He loved to go outdoors overnight. Uh, but one morning in August, after spending the night outside, Houdini never came home. My husband and the kids noticed right away, hmm, Houdini's not here. I wonder what's happened. And uh, so it was kind of a mystery. It would stay a mystery no longer than a day before a gruesome discovery was made. My husband was outside walking around the yard, talking on the phone with a friend, and the kids were outside playing. And he noticed something in the neighbor's yard right next door. And uh, thought, hmm, I better go over and take a look. Hopkins' husband and kids came across Houdini's mangled body. We had to say goodbye. We had a little burial service for him kind of in our backyard later that evening. And uh, it was just a rough day for all of us, really. I don't know for sure, but it would not surprise me at all if coyotes are taking these cats. Coyotes are just about everywhere nowadays, and they're thriving, most active during dawn, dusk, and the overnight hours. They've been known to prey on cats and dogs and other small animals. And I think the story here is keep your cats and keep your small dogs indoors. There's something out there that is a risk to them. A word of advice echoed by the Hopkins family. We do coexist with wildlife. It's all around us and uh, I would just advise all pet owners to remember that uh, as you interact with your pet that something could happen at any time. And that was Clayton Cummins reporting. The DNR says food sources are typically what will attract a coyote. Things like bird feeders, leaving trash outside, even pet food. If you scare a coyote off, they say you typically will not see it again.